So this question is about a convolution. We have two signals, x1 and x2, and we're asked about the convolution. But the question is about the spectrum of the convolution. So we want the convolution in the frequency domain. So we don't have to do the integration. We can use the convolution property of the Fourier transform. So we know that if we have some signal x1 of t and it's convolved into the other signal x2 of t, then the spectrum y of omega won't be the convolution of the two spectra, it will be the product of the two spectra. So that's the convolution property. The convolution turns into a multiplication. So all we need to do now is to find x1 of omega and x2 of omega, and we're given this Fourier pair. So if we just replace a and b instead of sigma, then we have the two spectra, and we simply need to multiply them. So y of omega equals, we simply replace sigma with a, and then we have a multiplication instead of the um, convolution, and then the same again. So notice how the convolution has become a straightforward multiplication without the need for any integration. So now we simply multiply the coefficients. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2, a, b, pi. And then you add the two powers. So you have minus a squared omega squared over 2 minus b squared omega squared over 2. And then look at the options you're given. Which of these looks like that? If we have one more attempt at simplifying it, it's 2ab pi e to the minus a squared. If you take a squared plus b squared. Then that looks almost exactly like option d. So that would be your final answer. So we answered it by using the convolution property. And the, 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 the key was in the question. We were told there was a convolution happening, and the answer or the question was asking for the spectrum of the convolution. So we immediately use the convolution property.